Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute. I think it's been like a little more than a week since I've uploaded a video on here, but I've been caught up in this whole Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef on YouTube and watching all these reaction channels. And it's absolutely been taking over my life, but I have been golfing. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this, man. This, this rap beef is getting crazy. It's consuming my mind and it's super fascinating to me. I don't know, but it's just... <sighs> Thing, things is getting crazy in the whole rap game right now. But I do want to get back into some golfing on this channel. And I was actually thinking the other day and I was sitting down conflicting of how I want to pursue and continue growing this YouTube platform. And um, being that I've been putting out some really, really good videos as of late and that you guys have been responding to quite favorably. And I appreciate you guys for that as always. But I don't want to get into a spot where I always put out these really polished and really well done YouTube videos just because of, you know, who I am and my background of video production and spending hours and hours and hours of editing videos and things like that. Cause it's, it's kind of becoming a little bit of a crux because I don't want to put out videos unless they're just like super polished. So what I've been thinking is it's kind of getting away from that a little bit. I'm still going to be putting my all into some of these edits and putting some really, really polished videos out there in certain type of series. But I also just want to come on here and just share my journey with you guys, put out some raw videos that's not really edited too much or if at all, really. And just kind of just throw some things on the platform and just see, you know, how you guys react to it. So this video is going to be like a practice round. So I went out and played at David L. Baker, met up with my boy Jason. And the whole premise of this round was just to kind of work on things. We wasn't keeping score at all. And we, you know, if we hit a bad shot, we'll drop another ball, hit another shot and things like that. So it was really just like talking through a lot of things, trying to you know, get a better sense of course management, how to play certain shots and things like that. So maybe this is a new series, I don't know, but the the video clips, I think I'm only gonna show you guys two holes right now just because I don't want this video to be too, too long. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this style of video in the comment section below, but super unedited, super raw, super fresh. I just wanna throw it up here and, you know, see what you guys think and, Get you guys opinions on it and this is like i said we're playing a david l baker i think i'm gonna show you guys a par three and then a par four and just kind of you know just let you guys see the thought processes of things see how we talk through shots so you know we continue to learn i'm learning as i'm putting these videos together and i hope you guys are learning from watching these videos especially as high handicappers out there that are just looking for anything to kind of just pick up on that can help our game out in a sense. So hopefully that can be what these videos are all about. So yeah, let me know in the comment section of what you guys think and here's the video. All right, so we put up to a par, uh, par four, hole four. We got 275, but we're working today and we're learning. So we're gonna play irons for this shot. I'm gonna go five iron just to try to get in the fairway. So I can use another iron as an approach shot and just kind of work on work on that aspect. So five iron, we're not trying to do anything special, we're just trying to put this out in the fairway. Oh, good shot. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Good shot. Thank you. Here's another thing that goes to like my mental capacity when I'm playing golf. When I'm on a par three, so that was a five iron shot, right? Right here. No thought whatsoever. I just fucking swung and I was like, yeah. oh shit. Yeah, like just hit the fairway. It's just, I wouldn't even think or, of that. I was just, just saying, just good, good swing, swing the club. Good strike, yeah. Yeah, just hit the ball. So the more that I play, the more that I'm starting to understand and learn that. Which, you know, it kind of goes to that whole, you know, just get out here and groove your swing, like you said. So ever since you, ever since you said that at Goose, I've been kind of like drilling that in my head and just groove the swing. Just get out here and swing. Don't worry about- Let the shot be the shot. Let the shot be the shot. This would be a 56 for me usually. What's your yardage? 86 to the center, but it's in the front. So it's playing 71. Okay, and you got what? 
56 degree. Okay. When when did you hit your 56 last? The hole before that one. Okay, on so two, two and your goal. yardage was similar. It was similar, okay. but uh, but again, the my mindset swinging it, I was like, okay, Stay smooth. I was swinging it like I was swinging a fit a 60 degree, okay. trying to chip it up and pop are it you, in. So say. Are you trying to have the same swing thought, just stay smooth, or do you feel like you need to make an adjustment? I'll, from... I want to have the swing thought that I had at the tee, the five iron, just get up there and swing the swing, don't worry about what the green is. Okay. Or should I just try to... What was your number again? 71 to the 71. front. Uh, I, would, I would say three quarter, but just stay committed. Okay. Good shot. Oh, was it? That's the word. Stay committed. Stay committed. That's the word I need to drill in my head. So you always want to be, it doesn't have to be an aggressive swing, but it has to be aggressive through the ball. Yeah. So like I said before, commit, don't quit. So I, this is what I tell myself, decide on the shot, commit to the shot, and then execute the shot. So decide, commit, execute. So, because the last thing you want to do is when you're over the ball and you're in the middle of your swing is something comes into your head. It, um, so today I focused on coming back and when you get to the back, use the body and your chest to turn. Hmm. Don't worry about the wrist and the arms. Like flipping, so, yeah. so I come back and then when I get here, I use my body to turn. So that's kind of like my power meter is how, how fast do I turn? Right. So if I come back and just use the body to turn, that way you don't get so handsy, you don't hit behind it, thin it, skull it. So it, it really helped me today when I was playing earlier. I like that. Go. Very nice. Thank you. So we got going left to right. What was that? What was that you said last time you played? That kind of stuck with me. But if you don't keep it high, it never has it really has a chance to go in. Yeah. So what do you what do you see here? I see left to right. Yeah. Little hill right here, but not a ton. Especially, I don't think the greens are moving that that crazy. So maybe like a half a cup outside. I, I don't see much to the putt at all. So you hit a good tee shot, you hit you hit a great approach shot here. So, I mean, this is a green light. So we definitely want to try and make it. It's not, you know, you got 10, 12 feet. So sure. give it a run, just, uh, just don't run it past too far. Speed control is usually my nemesis. Then keep it high. All right, let's let's put that again though. So I think you're kind of like right here. So same same thing. You want to commit, don't quit. Yeah. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Be confident. Don't be scared. And we saw the first putt, so we want to go left left side this time. And be firm. Much better. Much better. Good putt. Thank you. All right. On to the next. All right, so we are at the next hole. What hole is this? Uh, this is hole, hole number eight. eight. Hole eight already. So we got about one, let me just double check that. 
Yeah, about 135 to the center. 150 to the back. I'm gonna play my 150 club, which is a nine iron. And it's probably gonna be a little shorter than 150 just because of the weather, so. Swing smooth, commit to the shot. Not much to it. Just try to free my mind. Right, Jason? Yes, sir. Free your mind. We're having fun. Oh, left. Don't go in the bunker. It, it, I can't tell. Yeah, I, I can't see. Um, and I feel like I have to either give it a little bit more or do something. So I, I didn't have that free mind in that swing. Right. So it, it, it led to a bad shot. Right. So now free the mind and let's see, let's see the result now. We're going to peer this. Okay. Nope. Same thing. Your thought process here. So it's a pretty hard bunker. I hate these because I the bounce. But we pull the 60 degree and we're going to open the club face, try to get it high, land it soft because if I pull anything else, it's probably going to hit this lip. So how I would play this shot is just kind of put the ball in the center of the stands and just kind of play it like a normal flop shot. Okay. What I usually do they like really crouch down and just stab at it. And that's usually not a good result. So it's watching the PJ guys and they just like a little more upright and just swing comfortably. See if we can pick it. So we'll try that right now. Dig yourself to the sand. Oh, great out. That's what we want. Great out. Good shot. All right, let's 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 see if I can match you. Let's do it. Nice. Perfect. Go. Same exact shot. <laughs> You're a good leader. That's partner golf right there. So we got, we're definitely going towards the water here. A little bit. I think I'm going downhill. <clears throat> There's a bunker behind me, so it's definitely probably going downhill and funneling to the right. So try to stay on the high side, hit it up, and just kind of let it trickle down. I want to try to make this though. So about a cup outside. You can kick mine out of the way. It's all good. Commit. So close. All right. Not mad at it though. Good pot. Thank Looks you. like you almost made. Yeah, you can just throw it over here. You ain't gonna put it? No. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. Putted it to. Would you make a four? Five inches. A that four out of the a, bunker? That was a four out of the bunker. And it was almost a three. Almost a three. So, you know. Good pot. Yeah, we'll take we'll take that all day long. That's what I, that's one of the things I love about this uh, this night course compared to other par three night courses that are out there. Most of them are just like all par threes. So you can't hit, you know, other clubs at all. If you wanted to, you can probably hit driver like seven times here. Which is no, kind of this, is, this is, I mean, of all the courses that are not like a regulation 72. Right. This one's cool because there's, it's not one or two par fours. It's a handful. Exactly. So. I think, I think I counted it. You get three or four on the front or three on the front and like five on the back. Good shot. 
So that week that we played Goose Creek, you did play a lot that week. I did. And then it kind of sounds like you've still been playing a lot. <laughs> Have you had a break yet? Or what's what's I've, been your longest break in the last month? A goose one was the fifth round in six days. Yeah, dude, you were playing a lot. <sighs> yeah, man, we grind mode. Honestly, too, it's a, lot, a lot of it is just to get content. All right, so we got 133 to the center. We pulled a pitching wedge. That is my 133 number. Maybe I should club up. You know what? We're gonna go pitching wedge. All right, again, we're on a little bit of a bump over here to our left, so it's definitely going left to right how much i don't have it a ton definitely going uphill a little bit too so guessing a cup outside just stay aggressive with it oh not high enough doesn't stay high enough it doesn't have a chance to go in not a bad two putt though we'll take no, it. hey that was a really good first putt it was so from my side i heard what you said so i'm looking here it, like come look at this side i don't know if, if it, that's what it looked like on that side but from this side it looks like it's a lot uphill and it's really breaking yeah so you gave it a good confident stroke you got it i mean you had a little tap in that's perfect um but usually when the putt's uphill too um the break is a little bit more exaggerated as well mm. so um i thought it was a great putt yeah so i just needed like maybe like an inch more to the left, probably would have dropped. We'll take it, two putt, like, like we said, we just want a two putt. All right guys, there you have it. That was the video. Uh, again, let me know in the comments what you guys thought about it. Um, I'm gonna be, I wanna try to do a lot more videos like this where I don't, like I said, putting a lot of effort into these videos, just throwing up raw content out there and just letting you guys dissect it and see the actual grind and the progression that my game is going in. And hopefully we'll continue this in the future. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I can't take no loss. Huh? I don't even know what it costs. Huh? I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. Hit the ground and it go off. Yeah. I can't take no loss. Yeah. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah. I hit the ground and it go off.